Isabel Bomford was born into slavery in 1797 in Ulster County, Swartikill, New York. The Bomford family was owned by Colonel Hardenberg and lived on the Colonel's estate. Ownership of the Bomfries passed on to Colonel Hardenberg's son in 1806, soon after the bomb soon the Bomfries passed and separated. Nine-year-old Sojourner was known as Belle at the time and was sold at auction for $100 for the flock of sheep. Her, her new owner was a man named John Neely, who she remembered as harsh and violent. Sojourner would be sold twice more over the following two years, finally coming to reside on the property of John Dumont um, at West Park, New York. It was during these years that she learned to speak true English for the first time. Around 1815, Isabella fell in love with a fellow slave named Robert, but instead was forced to marry a man named Thomas, with whom she had five children with. In the year 1827, she used to be let free by her master, but her master failed to keep the promise. And she later, she later had to leave her own way, later telling him, I did not run away, I walked away by daylight. In 1843, at the age of 46, Isabella Longford was no longer Isabella. She was now sold her truth. It is to be said that Isabella moved to New York, and she became an itinerant preacher, which is preaching the basic Christ Christian redemption message while traveling around to different groups in a short, relatively short period of time. Around this time period, Sojourner Truth became a human rights activist, supporting women's and African Americans' rights around the 1850s. In 1851, Sojourner Truth spoke at the Women's Rights Convention in Akron, Ohio, and gave her notorious speech, Ain't I a Woman, that is still known and used today. Sojourner continued to speak out for the rights of African American and women's rights, and died in Battle Creek, Michigan, on November 26, 1883. Sojourner did not have very steady education, or not nearly as nice an education as we do today, which contributes to the way her speech was delivered. And I'm going to give a speech. Well, children, where there's so much racket, there must be something out of kilter. I think that twixt the Negroes in the South and the women at the North all talking about rights, the white men will be in a fix here pretty soon. But what's all this you're talking about? That man over there says that women need to be helped in the carriages, lifted over ditches, and to have the best place everywhere. No one ever helps me in the carriages or over mud puddles. It gives me any best place. And ain't I one? Look at me. Look at my arm. I have plowed and planted and gathered into barns, and no man can head me. And ain't I one? I could work as much and eat as much as a woman, or as a man, and bear the lash as well. And ain't I one? I have borne thirteen children and seen most all so up to slavery. And when I cried out with my mother's grief, and I'm a Jesus heard me, and ain't I one? Then they talk about this thing in the head. What's that, what's that they call it? Intellect. Intellect. That's it, honey. What's that got to do with women's rights or Negroes' rights? If my cup won't hold for the pint and yours holds a quart, wouldn't you be mean to let me have my little half measure full? Then that man in black there says that women can't have what, women can't have as much rights as men because Christ wasn't a woman. Where did your Christ come from? Where did your Christ come from? From God and a woman. Man had nothing to do with it. If the first woman God ever made was strong enough to turn the world upside down, all alone, these women together ought to be able to turn it back and get it right side up again. And now they're asking to do it, and men better live. Obliged to you for hearing me, and now I'm soldier and got nothing more to say. Soldier Church's speech, and I Woman, helped the greater cause of women's and African American suffrage. This speech inspired many fe feminists and abolitionists to fight for the rights, such as voting and other rights, of citizens of the United States. Do we have any questions for Caitlin?